In 2004, an initial prospective series showed feasibility and efficacy in 16 patients with severe post-prostatectomy stress urinary incontinence. The preoperative evaluation excluded detrusa instability and urethral stricture. Midterm follow-up results after 36 months in 57 patients confirmed 60% social continence and 14% significant improvement. 74% of patients reported benefit from the operation with significantly improved quality of life. No obstructive voiding symptoms due to de novo bladder outlet obstruction were observed. Urethra pressure profiles revealed a significant increase of the maximal urethral closure pressure and functional length. Postoperatively, urodynamic maximal flow rates were slightly reduced from 16 milliliters a second to 12 milliliters a second. Pressure flow studies revealed an unobstructed voiding in all patients. The patient is placed in the lithotomy position under general anesthesia and full relaxation. Prior to the skin incision, urodynamic anti-grade opening pressure and functional length of urethra measurements are performed. Antibiotic prophylaxis consists of 1.2 gram of intravenous amoxicillin. A perineal vertical midline incision of approximately 10 centimeters is made just below the scrotum. Blunt finger and scissor dissection is used to reach the deep perineal membrane after incising collis fascia. The centrum tendineum is preserved to keep perineal dissection minimal. The bulbocavernous muscle is exposed and split. For bulbourethral protection, a non-absorbable porcine skin implant is sutured onto the 2.5 cm wide sling made of semi-absorbable polypropylene polyglycolic acid caprolactone. The curved perforated guide needle is prepared prior to use. Through the perineal access, the curved guide needle is introduced paraurethrally and brought up strictly retropubically, lateral to the bladder neck and through the suprapubic skin. Cystoscopy is performed to exclude trauma to the bladder. In the case of perforation, fluid would drain through the perforations of the guide needle. The polypropylene sling is drawn superpubically through the needle with a guide wire. The same procedure is performed on the right side. The sling elevates the pelvic floor and improves functional urethral coaptation. A transverse suprapubic incision of about 6 cm is made down onto the rectus fascia. Gentle pressure of the fist is applied over the bladder with a concurrent increase of the sling tension to determine an optimal anti-grade urethral opening pressure. 
We aim for an increase of the anti-grade urethral pressure of 20 to 25 centimeters H2O, as well as an increased functional urethral length. After repeated measurements, the correct tension of the sling is achieved when dribbling occurs at the meatus at a pressure between 60 and 70 centimeters H2O. The ends of the polypropylene sling are tied off once the final optimal tension of the sling is confirmed by the interoperative urodynamic curves. The wound closure finishes the operation. Antibiotics are stopped five days after surgery when the catheter is removed. After 10 years, our non-obstructive standardized technique demonstrates an immediate post-operative continence, a non-obstructive intraoperatively adjustable system, high patient satisfaction, low cost, minimal implant material, it does not be necessary to remove any of the implants, and a good comparability to the AMS urinary control system.